A month ago, I bought an abandoned 30 year old spray boot. Now after fixing it up, I gave you guys the option for us to just stop and leave it as it is, or go on a full budget of modifying it and making it the best spray booth we possibly can for under four grand. And I'm not gonna lie, I was not expecting any of you guys to have me continue on with this boot. A deal's a deal. So now, time to start planning this out. So now the ball's in my court on how we're gonna design this thing. And well, good thing for me is I know a few people, <laughs> meaning you guys. We're gonna have one of our own subscribers, Lonzo from Palms HVAC Service. He's gonna be stopping by tomorrow to at least try to give us an idea. Before we even try to attack this, we need to know this stuff so that when we build this booth, we don't mess up and we get it right the first time. This is Lonzo. You've been trying to explain it to me for probably the past day and a half because I can't seem to figure it out on what exactly we need to do to do the conversion. Explain it to us. What's up? All right. So basically, if you have a fan that outputs 12,000 CFMs, yeah. what you're going to need to do is have a duct size that can alleviate 12,000 CFMs, essentially. This is getting complicated. <laughs> I think I'm going to have to like shorten this into like 30 seconds because people are, we're going to lose everyone. I'm lost and I'm here. I'll stick to building exhaust and stuff. You, you, you got the exhaust better than me for sure, but. No, I, this yeah, is this is something that I'm just, we're going to have to just wait and see. And then if it fails, then we'll just revisit this conversation. <laughs> <laughs> like, I never told you yeah. <laughs> now, after talking with Lonzo and figuring out everything that we were going to need to buy, it was time to hit the internet to find out how much this stuff was going to cost. And let me tell you guys, that bill racked up real quick. Now, the first thing we looked into was the sheet metal. And that alone was around $2,000. Then after we priced that out, we looked into how much the ductwork was gonna cost us for a 24 inch fan setup, because that's what you need to keep around the same CFM. A new 24 inch exhaust fan is roughly around $1,700. You need to buy two of them, so it gets up to about $3,400. So now just between raw panels and two exhaust fans were already around $5,400. And we're still not done yet. We still need to add the exhaust duct, which was another about $1,000 per side. So all in, we're talking around six to $7,000 easily if we're gonna order this stuff new. Now the cool thing is I do have this ace up my sleeve from a few months back when I messaged this guy who had an old torn apart side down draft spray booth. So a while back when I was looking for a spray booth, there was a guy that actually had a side down draft spray booth, but it looked pretty beat. It's just been sitting outside and I, he had it all dismantled so I didn't trust it. After doing the math to try to modify our spray booth, it's probably gonna be better to try to see if we can negotiate a good deal for this one and use all the good parts we can from it to make our booth a side down draft. You're, the, you're definitely gonna be the bad cop. The wife's always the bad cop in these situations. Now, after talking with the owner and convincing him to let us go through everything, we actually found more stuff than what we were expecting. Not only did he have most of the spray booth and the full exhaust system, but he also had a fire suppression system, which our booth didn't even have from the start. So now, not only are we getting an exhaust system, but we're also getting a fire suppression system too. Can you help me load it? <laughs> Guys, this is gonna take a little bit longer than expected, so let's just speed this up. Ready? One, two, three. Well, it took me and the wife all day to load up not one, but two trailers. So now from all of this stuff, we'll be able to modify it and make our booth a full side down draft booth. And this thing is gonna just be sick. So from two booths, we're making one ultimate booth. All right, let's get this puppy clean. I still can't get over how good of a deal we got for $1,500. Now the main thing for us was this exhaust system. It was so caked up with so much paint, it was coming off by the chunks and it took us about 24 hours to get this entire system cleaned up. Like, look at on how bad this is. Oh, we're getting a big one. Woo! Oh, that's satisfying. That's literally like an inch of paint. Easily. So 
So we got Alonzo here. So after the last time we spoke and did all that freaking rocket science equation, I ended up finding another booth. <laughs> and the good thing is with finding another booth is they already kind of had all the work done for me. So this is our new design. I didn't have to chop into the booth. I just built this. So with two 24 inch fans to one 36 inch fan, even though the duct thing's smaller, I think the fans will make up for that to cause the turbos to spool a little bit faster. <laughs> and, you know what I'm saying? And, and Instead of one single turbo, well, we got two twins, mini and twins. You have less, uh, you less have travel. Less, less travel, less pressure drop. Yeah, because if you think about it, it's it's one piece that goes straight up and then it connects right there. Yeah. I mean, how's that fitting going there? It's got to be a squared around. Yeah, it's right there in the back of the trailer. It's right here. So remember, it's one tall piece that connect. This is going to connect to the bottom of that. I think we should be able to knock out the exhaust part in like two hours. Dude, I'm in operation. Let's get done. Man. Let's freaking go. We finished up our what, like 1.30-ish? Yeah, like one thirty last night. One thirty last night. Let's show them, we gotta show them all the work we did. So last night we we had almost all of it done so that that way we came in this morning. But guys, look at how sick this looks. We have all the boxes now, everything is pushed up and we custom fab those last two boxes. You can't even tell, that looks factory as hell. And we just made it all work. This freaking looks sick, man. <laughs> Well, did the ends, got everything lined up. Honestly, I don't think we could have done a better job. This is, looks like they just sent it to me this way. Now all I got left is just to finish the back upper wall. And then we got rid of all of our ducts. So the cool thing is now this big old unit right here is going to be like right here. And then I'll have all this open space to make the paint room, which I'm going to try to do that today. I'll send you some pictures if I get it done. Give a huge shout out to Lonzo. Brandon is supposed to be coming. I'm gonna take this in now just in case. If he comes, he wants me to do some welding for him, which is fine. But I'm gonna see if I could just be like, yo, you wanna help me finish this? <laughs> and that's how the paint room comes about. That's how the paint room is gonna happen. Yeah. <laughs> well, dude, nah, man, you, you gotta admit, bro, we killed it. All right, since the last time we spoke, here's the exhaust setup. We have the roof done, everything is complete. We leak sealed it, we got the hood on top so water doesn't drip down. Pretty much it's ready to go minus some paint. And I don't know if I showed you guys, but look at, we even test wired it up to see how it sounds. And it does work really good. Ready? Now, obviously this is not a real world situation, but I just want to show you guys how well this thing is like pulling air. Look at this. <laughs> That's so freaking cool, guys. I already kind of jumped ahead because I didn't want to stop working and I don't think I've recorded any of this. But pretty much what we did was we took the old panels, we chopped them, we had to shorten them, zip screwed them, and then I stitch welded all of them. And then my wife went ahead and drilled out over 200 holes. So that not only does it bolt right up to the existing booth, but we'll be able to bolt up the frame to that and it all like be factory. So we kind of went a little above and beyond, but, and we didn't record all that, but she shot out to the wife because she freaking killed on that. Let's just finish taking apart the rest of the filter pieces and finish building our intake plenum. Guys, look at how sick this came out. This is what I pictured in my head the entire time. Now, 
I can explain it to you guys with something to show you. All the fresh air come from through the top will be coming through here and then the air will exhaust out going into those exhausting. So now that we got this done, the next thing we need to talk about is the lights because, well, yeah, it looks like we have lights, right? But yeah, we have a little issue and I think I figured out what it is, but I still call my buddy Lonzo and he's gonna come out and help us out with this but i'm pretty sure what's happening is our ballast doesn't match our bulbs these are single end ballast and the bulbs that we have inside are double end there we go <laughs> we over the <laughs> yeah <laughs> all right now we gotta do this 11 more times <laughs> all right guys first time testing out our lights Ooh. <laughs> It works! I did it right the first time. Let me know what y'all think, man. We got our, our boop is getting there. We're almost done. Alright, now I gotta go finish wiring everything else up. This is an exciting moment. I just redid all of the wiring for the boot. It should work. Exciting. Not exciting. Hold on. Woo! Did you turn it back off? Yeah. You chicken, turn it back on! Oh, it works! Woo! <laughs> yes! <laughs> oh my god. I've been on this thing all day over that stupid contactor. Oh my goodness. So. All right, guys, now that we figured that out, we're going to have to wire in our fans on a separate circuit. Back to work. I'll show you guys when we get everything done and running. So everything's figured out, right? Or so I, I think everything's figured out. We have the blower working. We have the exhaust fans working. And for some reason, though, I can't in my head fathom on how these fans are out working the blower. It just doesn't make any sense. So we're going to have to call Alonzo in to see if he can just to see if I'm crazy or if there actually is something wrong with it and I'm not crazy. Here you go. You look tired. Yeah, I look pretty beat, man. Since the last time you were here. I don't think, yeah, look at Oh, man. Well, you haven't even seen it run. No, I haven't. Okay, no. And after five minutes of going through everything, we figured out that the motor for the air makeup unit was actually spinning backwards and we had to turn it the other way. But once we swapped it around, Oh, yeah, this is what we needed. My hand, it really is. Ooh. Yeah, that's a lot of air. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, after three weeks and over 200 man hours, we're finally going to show you guys our spray booth. Now I have to say disclaimer, this is part one of two because there is too much work to just put it all in one video. Introducing our 30 year old restored paint booth. Money coming, money go. I've been at it. I've been at it on a low. Trapping out a while here. I keep seeing the leaders doing as we talking plans and maybe seeing you. Pull up on you, let me scoop. Nobody here but me and you. Got a little ring to it, turn a thing, flow it in the coop. Why you look, I know it's real. I'm on my mind, shine. I've been really getting a feel. You know why I'm here, don't act like you know how I feel. You see all the upgrades that we have done to this booth. First, we have our lights. Go ahead. Bam. Now, I will say this. It's a it echo. Is now that it's open in here. Whoa, okay, we're gonna just talk out there but you guys can see everything going on in here it's like a church in there it's like, an echo was, yeah so we went from four ball fluorescent ballast which is just not that bright to an eight ball ballast led and it's that bright. made it 96 lights so you have no excuse for your paint jobs yeah i have no excuse for messing up if i mess up i'm gonna have to own that a thousand percent because 
it's it's bright in there guys it's really bright now we do need to put one more fresh coat of paint on the inside walls just to make it look pretty one last final time but that'll be in the next video right now we just wanted to get all the stuff functioning which we did we have the exhaust system working with the intake system and the lights are all working everything works freaking mint which now i can show you guys i think i took a little video with um lonzo <laughs> you guys got to see this thing finally running now stay tuned for the next video where we'll finish buttoning up the rest of this booth to see how well this new design setup will work and let me know down in the comment section what you guys think is it gonna work is it worth it i guess you're gonna have to wait and see to find out so thank you all for watching and i'll see y'all in the next one peace It was a long video. He Start actually misses working on, working on cars. I miss working on That's saying something, because <laughs> man, like I like working on cars, but I, I genuinely miss working on cars. He, right he worked on the Miata for like two seconds. And, and was I was like, like, man, I just plugged the plug in and it worked. I said, man. <laughs>